very proud for sleeping in from day of the daylight savings time. Well, this is a time for children, but is a time for everybody oh, yeah. too. Yeah. So I periodically have been known to take a walk around my neighborhood, and I will see signs signed up, put up, which are something like this. Have you all ever seen anything like this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's lost. There's one at my bus stop. There's one at your bus stop. And people lose their dogs periodically. And it's one of the worst things that can happen, I think. Did you know the lo still lost signs? Still lost signs. Sometimes they put still lost out on, mm -hmm. on their signs. And I remember when I was a little boy, a very little boy, probably younger than you, and my father very, thank very thoughtfully obtained for us a dog, which was a nondescript yellow dog, which it seems <coughs> was entirely true of virtually every dog in East Tennessee back in those days. <laughs> <laughs> this dog, we very inventively named Pooch. Of course. <laughs> well, what can I say? Back in those days, dogs were uh, in that part of the world. We never tied them up. We never fenced them in. They ran free and they went everywhere where they wanted to go. They only kind of, sort of, Pooch especially, kind of, sort of, hung around us. He was perfectly content to have us chase him in the yard, but he wasn't a very good lap dog. He wasn't a very um, friendly dog. So when he didn't show up one day for dinner, it wasn't that big of a deal, but when he didn't show up for dinner the next day, that's when we began to wonder. And my mother sent us children out to find Pooch. And my brother and my sister and I, we went out in the neighborhood looking for Pooch, everywhere looking for Pooch. And what do you think I found? Hmm. Pooch? Not exactly. Well, some probably his collar or something. His footprints? No, I found my father. I found my father who had gone out looking for Pooch on his own <laughs> because he thought it would make us a little sad to lose Pooch in that way. So dad put me in his car and we drove around a little bit more. We gave up on the search as it got dark and then we drove in the driveway only to find Pooch <laughs> sticking his nose around the corner of the house. Of course. <laughs> of course. It was, I can remember being the happiest that I can ever remember seeing Pooch come back. It was, thing, it was something that I had never experienced before and I was utterly thrilled to see my dog back, to see Pooch come back. A little, a little worse for the wear, a little muddy, a little uh, infested with little things that he probably shouldn't have had on him and we had to <laughs> clean him up from. But it was one of the greatest, Feelings I, I can remember. I can still remember feeling that way. And the story we're going to read later today is a story that Jesus told about a son who came the home. Son. The prodigal son, exactly right. Yes. And how thrilled the father was to have his son back. And how thrilled um, God is to have each and every one of us here. So. That's our quick lesson for today, our quick children's sermon. So if you would, bow your head and please pray with me. Dear God, Dear God. Dear God. Thank, you thank you for your church. A place where we know that we are welcome, that we are needed, that we are loved. All this we ask in your name. Amen. Now, we will all go back and invite you to go back to sit with your parents Come. and get ready for Sunday so school. <clears throat> we found Pooch and we celebrated it in a great